Welcome back to another YouTube video. It's your girl Pussy Chella here and in today's YouTube video it's been a long time coming and I just want to let you know that I'm truly so sorry for keeping you waiting for this long but it's a what I eat in a day and without further ado it's time for Cooking with Chrissy. I don't know how long that's been since we last did that and maybe one day I'll officially stop doing it but I just want to say it's time for it. It's time for us to do a cooking video together. It's been such a long time and I'm gonna cook for you. And the reason being is because number one, I've been transitioning. You guys know we've got the Honor HQ and the Evolve U HQ now. I've got myself a new house. So I've been all over the place. However, one of the things that I wanted within this HQ is a kitchen. And the reason being is because you guys know how much I love cooking and how much I love making my own meals. I hate eating out. I know some people absolutely adore it and there's a time and a place for it, but when you're always doing it, it's a lot. So that's why having this kitchen now, I feel more calm and balanced and it gives me the ability to also do more Cooking with Chrissy videos and share more recipes with you. So the first thing we're gonna do is breakfast. Okay, so breakfast, easy, simple, delicious. Annoyingly, it looks now like a snack because you have to cut the toast, but anyway. So salmon, avocado on sourdough bread, absolutely delicious, absolutely love it, win, win, win. Um, I can't have eggs anymore, I'm not sure if you guys know, but I have a little bit of an autoimmune problem and eggs flare me a lot. So if you don't like salmon, then you can just have the avocado and toast. But if you want any source of protein base, then I would recommend whacking some eggs on here. If you don't like eggs either, so make sure that you get your protein source from somewhere else. So even maybe a protein shake from the side. That's also a recommendation. I'm gonna make my coffee as well. Coffee is really simple, but for me, I have to have at least two or three coffees a day. I know it's like, to some people, they're like, really, that many coffees, do you need it? And I'm like, yeah, I do, to function, to be nice, I need it. But I'm gonna add coconut milk into my frother. I love coconut milk so much. Dash of caramel syrup. We were saying the longest thing about making a coffee is the frother. It takes so long. Anyways, let's not moan and complain. Nothing to moan about here. Right guys, there you have it, breakfast. Guys, look at what my mug says. Honor your body. So I got these custom mugs made for the office and my house. I think you've seen someone, some of my house, they say like buttons on it, Brett, Chrissy. One says this too shall pass in case like I wake up and I'm like, can't do this anymore. So my mug reminds me to keep on going. It's my therapist. So this one is honor your body. Everyone says honor is wanna. So now I've just got a whole campaign idea on how we're gonna rectify that. So honor your body and then in our clothing, we're also gonna put honor your body through movement, which is really nice. So every time you're wearing a piece of honor active, you get to see that tagline on the internal of your product. So it just reminds you to honor yourself through movement and how important movement is. So let me know if you'd like that tagline or if I should add it to the clothes or not, because I want to, but I don't know if you like it. Lunch time. Lunch time, I'm gonna make you a quick pokey bowl. But listen, I don't trust myself with raw salmon, so we're gonna cook it because I don't wanna risk it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have two salmon fillets. This is enough to feed two people. So I'm gonna make 
a bit of a bulk so then you can have it also the next day or if you have a partner family whatever you want to do two salmon fillets we're going to skin the salmon off and then we're going to chop it and dice it marinate it with soy sauce a little bit of honey uh, salt and pepper and we're going to oven bake that or you can put it in the air fryer until it's really golden and crispy for our toppings, we're going to be using some diced pineapples, which I absolutely love, some kimchi, some cucumber. I'm actually going to marinate the cucumber in soy sauce as well and a little bit of salt before adding it on top of a bed of rice. You can add it to anything you want. You can have a lettuce base, you can have a rice base. Personally, I want my carbohydrates in, so I'm going to go for a rice base. And then on top of that, we're going to add a little bit more soy sauce and then finally some sriracha, sriracha mayo or sriracha is either one but it's so simple it's delicious you've got your good gut bacteria in there with your kimchi you've got your micronutrients in you've got some sweetness from the pineapple you've got your bed of rice for carbohydrates and then most importantly for me it's the protein from the salmon and the healthy fats which is super important so we're going to do all of that together now favorite shakes I tend to have around about two scoops of protein powder a day so one is post-workout and because I train so early in the morning when I come to the office I always make my post-workout shake which is always frozen berries peanut butter um, the woman's best vegan whey whether that's cereal or vanilla flavor alongside with some coconut milk honey and some oats and that's kind of my go-to breakfast shake that I have if I don't have the time to make like the sourdough and avocado and salmon on toast. But there's also a second shake that I love to make and that's because I have the sweetest tooth you will ever meet. In the office, we have like this ongoing joke, like you will know if Chrissy has come to your desk if there's some form of chocolate or some form of sweets just lying around on your desk. And it's because I always have sweets or chocolate throughout my day. But if I'm being a little bit more of a, um, you know, controlled with my sweet tooth, I like to make the shape. So I'm going to share it with you. Super simple. Dash of coconut milk. One scoop of a women's best chocolate vanilla powder. Because I absolutely love chocolate so much. Teaspoon of peanut butter. Healthy fats as well. We're not shying away from the fats here. We've had a lot of fats today from the avocados, the salmon, and the peanut butter, which I love. Dash of maple syrup. Again, I love sweetness. Banana. Just break it in there, rough. And some ice, because I like it to be quite cold and we're gonna blend all of this together. Oh, perfect. That's so good. So, here's the deal. 
I would be lying to you if I said I'm having dinner right now, but I know what's gonna happen. And I always say to the team, don't worry, I'll record it later. And then by the time I get home, I get so tired and I forget to record it. So I'm gonna show you what on average I have for dinner. It tends to vary. So if I have business meetings, I always eat out. And if I'm eating out, I always, always, always go for some form of grilled protein. So whether that's chicken, steak, or fish. And I always ask for an extra portion of vegetables. That's inevitably what I will, I will always have. Like I said, my life has changed completely. I used to be able to cook dinner every single night. Now I can't, it's more of a luxury if I get to go home early and then have some time to cook dinner. I normally get home around about 11 p.m. at night at times now, especially with the interviews and the meetings I have, meeting the business partners, etc. But when I do cook, it's always a very simple, sleek meal that I can just whack in the oven. I don't have to think about it. I can go get ready for bed and then I can have it. So what we're gonna make is pretty much my favorite because it is simple two sea bass fillets. God, it's been, a, it's, it's been a fish day today, eh? Normally I make some sort of chicken with you guys, but it's been a, it's been a fish day. And then we're gonna go for some broccoli. And I just whack the broccoli either side like that. We're going to add olive oil all over the fish and the broccoli. And we're gonna add some salt. I love salt so much, it's my favorite. Finally, some pepper. I'm gonna add the, the lemon juice at the end. So what I do is then I just whack this 230 to 240 degrees in the oven for about 25 minutes exactly. Take it out and I'll have rice with it or potatoes, whatever is available and whatever I have left over or whatever is expiring. So I hate, hate wasting food. So that is pretty much it and we're gonna put it in the oven. So like I said, we're gonna put it as 235 for 25 minutes. In the oven it goes, and we're done. So guys, as I'm plating up my quote unquote dinner, if you want to know the reality, I'm plating up dinner and then you look over here and that's a business meeting. So we have to do two things at once and my team is so used to it at this point. They're just like probably waiting for the meal now instead of anything else. So there you have it. That's what I eat in a day. I hope the recipes have inspired you. I hope that you give something a go and just make some wiser choices. But like always, enjoy your food and don't deprive yourself because it's important that you actually live a life and don't let fitness consume you. I love you always and forever and I'll see you next time. And that's the bell. <laughs>